What's up cats, my name is Fisk and welcome back to another 60 second coding. Today we'll be working on variable jump and gravity. Now there will be several new variables you need to enter into your create event if you have been following my series, which are grounded equals zero, jump equals minus 10. Of course, this can be changed to your heart's content. Uh, jump mod equals 2.5. Again, another variable you can change. Gravity, or GRV, is 0.4 for me. Uh, that's about where I like to put it. And VSP max is 15. Again, all of these except for grounded can be changed to whatever you like. There's one other thing. Key up needs to be changed to keyboard check pressed. And there needs to be another called key upheld, which is keyboard check with the same key binding. So you'll need to remove vmove and all of its components um, as it will disrupt the gravity uh, code. So first of all, we're gonna come into our jump section and say if key up equals one, and grounded equals one. We're gonna open up some brackets here and we're just gonna say VSP plus equals jump. We're going to then say another if statement, which is if VSP is less than zero and exclamation point or not key held uh, key up held sorry throw me for a loop there I'm gonna open up some brackets and say uh, VSP equals max and then on the inside VSP comma jump divided by jump mod. That's it for our jump. Next we move on to gravity and we just say VSP plus equals GRV. Now you can leave it there if you want uh, with the gravity, but I tend to like having a max speed so you don't just clip through things. And we're gonna, for that we're gonna say VSP equals clamp. VSP comma minus VSP max comma VSP max. Now for the gravity to work, we then need to come down into our place meeting uh, for the vertical. And we're gonna say grounded equals one just after our while statement. And then we are going to say else, if I can spell, and then in the else statement, rounded equals zero. And if we compile, we can see that we have a little jumping cube, and if I tap the keys, jumps a little bit, and if I hold the jump key, jumps a lot. All right, so that's variable jump and gravity, or at least the way that I particularly like to do it. Of course, you can always have proxy variables and things like that, but this is as simple as it gets. So for now, like the video if you liked it, get subscribed if you're not already, and you don't want to miss more of these, and until next time, happy coding.